Hello, uh, quite a quick tutorial today or demonstration, call it what you will. We're looking at uh, SQL and Scrapey. Um, getting back into Scrapey again after a bit of a summer hiatus, should we say, hiatus, rest, holiday, whatever. Crawl Spider. So, all my other tutorials you'll have seen scrapey dot spider so they've actually been spiders whereas this is actually a crawler um, a crawler will uh, discover links that are without uh, you having to specify them so it will go off and find the links it will crawl the site basically whereas with a spider you're actually specifying which pages to go off and fetch or uh, you'll be looking at uh, a certain URL with just appending uh, the last part of the query string. So here we go. Um, most of this is what I found on this particular site. I'll post this in the link below. That's, that was my starting point. What I really wanted to do was to um, run Scrapey, run it as a crawler, discover all of the links on a given website. Obviously here I'm using books to scrape.com because it's sort of safe to scrape and I'm not going to get into any trouble for that. And um, yeah, so MySQL is now called MariaDB or rather well, the open source sort of uh, free community version is called MariaDB and um, yeah, so as you can see from my history here, I've done sudo apt install MariaDB and then I've installed also pip install uh, mysql.connector. There's several different connectors that you can use. I've stuck with mysql.connector. So import mysql.connector and you'll need to run pip install MySQL connector to uh, to get that. So what I did ne that <laughs> can't even speak. What I did next was I created a database. So if you look up on the internet how to uh, yeah create a SQL database, create a table, add a user, add a password. That's all fairly standard stuff in all that's out there. So what I want to show you really is that uh, with this code you can keep scrapey, uh, keep your crawler very minimalist because you don't have to use pipelines and lots of other various scrapey config bits and pieces. Um, create the MySQL connection, that's these lines here. So mydb equals mysql connector dot connect, so you're connecting with um, localhost Username user one, which I've set up, your password one, a database rsg dot underscore db. Uh, for some reason, the underscore disappears when I zoom in and out. There we go. Anyway, so print's connected once it's connected. Um, if it's an error, then it gives you the, uh, tells you the username, password, blah, blah, blah. Right. Class rsg uh, crawl spider. So I've already imported from crawl spider scrapey.spiders import crawl spider and rule um, rules equals rule link extractor allow allows everything callback is pass item so this is the bit that does the actual work and it takes the response URL and then it loads that into a variable and then when we execute our query here the cursor execute executes the query and the query is equal to insert into insert into links ignore that just means ignore any duplicates insert into links the URL the URL is the table that I've created sorry it's the it's not the table the table is called links the URL is the field which you'll see shortly and um, yeah, mydb.commit, so you need to commit it at the end just to actually send it all into the database. And that is the variable. 
Um, if anybody knows, why is there a plus either side of this to make it work? If the pluses aren't there, it doesn't work. That's probably, that serves me right for not uh, not sticking with the uh, formal scrapey recommended SQL practices, but there we go. Um, what should we do here? If we just do uh, desk describe, uh, do uh, Maria DB sudo Maria DB. So I'm just entering the Maria database. Um, if I use, I want to use um, my database, which is called RSG underscore DB. Um, show tables and I've got a table called links and in there we've got that column called URL so without further ado let's just get on with that really this is just a demo I just want to show you this the code is on will be on github I'll put the link below so scrapey crawl I'm not using crawler process here um, I've run into so many problems using crawler process recently I'm probably going to use the command line scrapey crawl format for a while just to uh, just for a change and just see what benefits that gives me so scrapey crawl and then the name of the crawler so ready and here we can see if I just make the font a bit bigger there we go I've got it running pretty damn slow at the moment. In fact, I think I've only got it doing three three concurrent requests. So if I go across to here, and huh, let's go back into MariaDB. So sudo MariaDB uh, use rsg underscore db and then describe um, links and then uh, let's do select stuff from links and you can see since I've started running the crawler I've gone up to 36 entries so ID that's um, auto increment and then URL which I think I declared as a varcar you have to set the, um, the type for the field so I set that to varcar 100 so 100 characters um, if I run it again so 36 rows if I run it again we would probably be up to 40 or something 44 there we go so yeah I'm loading each of the the links from um, the hrefs from books to scrape com and they're each being loaded into the database so yeah just a little demo and basically if you want to use the code or modify it or practice with it then it's on the rggh github page so yeah i hope that's been interesting um really i'm just wanting to sort of demonstrate and highlight that you don't have to use um, scrapey um, pipelines and forget what the other bits and pieces there are that they they make you use when you're trying to use their um, when they're trying to make you use their their framework so I hope that's been interesting if it's not then let me know otherwise uh, yeah I'll be back soon and have a nice day thank you for watching and um, yeah keep keep going bye